Hey guys, so you've clicked on today's video because you want to learn how you can edit faster in Fortnite. Well, in today's video, we'll be covering how you can edit faster on a single tile and multiple tiles and how you can actually improve your editing and resetting speeds. Now, I personally was always just an above average player at Fortnite and especially when it came to editing, I was nothing too crazy. But I contacted a lot of my pro player friends and I actually picked up some secret tips that they've shared with me that I've actually been able to use and take into account and actually improve a lot when it comes to editing and improve my speeds over the past few months. I'm going to be sharing these exact tips that I used to actually become a way faster editor, making me not only faster, but also way more consistent with my edits, making sure that I actually never scuff up an edit and I'm always landing them consistently. So these tips have helped me improve a lot. And now if you'd like to hear tips covering in more different areas of Fortnite overall for controller players, then make sure to subscribe right now with notifications on, as I'm sure one video soon coming up will spike your interest. And if it doesn't, you can always unsubscribe. But while you're here, you may as well hit that subscribe button. Also, let's go ahead and aim for 500 likes on today's video, guys. Guys, I know we can do it. Also, this is out of random curiosity. I would like to know if you guys play linear settings or exponential. Let me know in the comments down below. So in this video, I'll go over multiple different topics, but we need to learn the basics first of finding yourself the sweet spot. And now let's find out what the sweet spot is. A lot of the people like to think of fast editing as something like this, where you spam the edit down and you get really fast results. Now, this is going to set you apart from all the different pros that used to do this. And I'm going to tell you the secret of how you can also start to do this. Because a lot of people may experience this, whether you edit so fast, that sometimes the edit doesn't actually even register and doesn't work. So to avoid this and actually how you can start to edit faster on a single tile, all you have to do is find something called the sweet spot. Now the sweet spot, all you have to do is start out by editing the same tile slowly, and then you want to keep going slower and slower, and then you want to start to speed it up. When you start to speed it up, just keep getting speedier and speedier until you reach a time where you can see that your edits are actually starting to miss. So at this point here, not all of my edits are going through. So what I need to realize is that that is the sweet spot, so I need to go a little bit slower than that. So let's go ahead and slow slower, and you get speedier and speedier, and as you can notice, eventually you get to a speed where you feel comfortable and you're not missing any edits. This is the sweet spot. Okay, great. Now we all have an understanding of what the sweet spot is and how we can actually use this to actually benefit us when we go ahead and edit multiple tiles. Because of course, everybody knows when it comes to Fortnite that when you're editing, you're never just editing a single tile. Now, of course, most of the time you're editing a Dorito styled wall and how we can actually take this into accountability, merge these two things together and how we can actually merge these together is by combining distance. Now, distance is a really important thing with edits and now don't be scared away to the fact that you think this is very simple simple because it is actually very complex in the way that I'm about to tell you and the you know, technique that you can use. So what it is going to be is a special part of your muscle memory that you can take advantage of is actually using the least amount of distance possible. But what if I told you that you can even minimize that distance even more to a fraction of the distance where your edit can actually be way faster and it will basically maximize your speeds at editing walls. But anyways, let's go ahead and hop into that tip and explain to you how it works. Let's jump into that right now. All right, so the first gameplay of how we can actually edit a wall faster and movements where you have to actually go ahead and do multiple edits rather than a single edit how we can actually improve our speeds is most people edit a wall like this and they over exaggerate their edits and they end up not being consistent but to replace that and be consistent and land every single one of our edits not only being faster and more consistent but we also go ahead and actually have to move our character less so what i want you guys to practice if you go into creative it get the muscle memory of starting around here so figure out on the wall where exactly you need to look it's around where this wooden part here meets it is where my crosshair currently is and you want to start out here and you'll already be on this tile then all you have to do is move down to the right just like this and you get the three-way edit however you guys may be wondering what happens if i was to do all four well you get the same exact results so you don't have to be afraid of hitting the fourth square just like so and then once you edit it is way faster now to practice this and get down the muscle memory all you have to do is stand right in the middle and i want you to look left to right and edit these three tiles reset edit these three tiles reset edit these three tiles and you get the idea and just keep going back and forth until you actually get faster and then eventually you can go ahead and actually double your editing speed in the sense of doing multiple tiles at once okay great so now we all understand how you can actually take advantage of editing with multiple tiles faster but don't leave the video just yet because we've got some juicy settings you can actually use to double your editing speed now some of these settings can include things that are very simple but some of these settings can actually be very complex that a lot of you may not know about some of these settings can even be so secret to the fact that i've only recently discovered them myself now, the first thing we can always go over is confirm edit on release. Now, I know everybody already knows about this setting, but we have to actually understand why it could be effective. Now, how firm edit on release can be effective is to the fact that you have to click, click one less edit bind. However, you can actually take advantage of this and you manipulate it in a way that you can actually use it to edit faster than Epic actually intended. 
So everyone already understands the fact of when you go ahead and have the edit on race button, you no longer have to click the confirm. Well, in fact, I actually personally like to still hit the confirm button afterwards. Now, by clicking the confirm button after you've done this, you won't actually need to do this, but what this will actually allow for you to do is add a spacer between your edits, adding enough time between edits so that the response time and delay time between your controller and PC or controller and Xbox and whatnot, it will actually give you enough time that it will be a perfect amount of time that you can start the next edit with no input delay. Trust me, it sounds hard and complicated to understand that, but that's just one of the many settings we can go ahead and hop into. Let's have a look at another setting. Now, I did just mention delay times and input delay. Now, what you can actually do to minimize some of these things, because it will actually allow you to edit faster if you have less input delay, because you can click the buttons faster and it will all respond faster. Now, some ways you can actually go ahead and re reduce this delay. Now, a way you can actually go ahead and reduce this is if you go into the actual controller bind section, you can actually change from Xbox to PS4 to generic. Now, if you're on PC, you only get the option for generic, and I highly recommend changing to generic settings. It actually gives you the least amount of input delay. Don't ask me why, but if you're on consoles, then just go ahead and switch to the opposite option so if you're on Xbox use the PS4 but anyway, let's have a look at the last tip I actually have in the video now a lot of people if they have a triangle edit for example what they like to do is go ahead and reset it and then edit again and then go ahead and edit like so however if you noticed in that process I have to edit once reset twice edit again and close it that's all five times but you can actually minimize this and instead of doing this once it's in a triangle formation and you want to edit a window for example what you have to do instead rather than go ahead and edit resetting and then confirming just go ahead and move straight to a, a window edit so it's like this edit it reset it but instead of clicking confirm select it and then it goes straight to a window rather than to having to throw in the extra edit in the middle now this may seem very basic but i can assure you that a lot of pros actually use this technique now it doesn't seem a lot but you just need to incorporate it and start to understand that it can be used in multiple different edits now of course i already said this but just to go over it one last time rather than doing unnecessary edits you can also just apply this to other areas in general so you don't need to always do unnecessary edits for example, sometimes when people go ahead and edit a wall, they sometimes end up editing it twice because they do a Dorito edit and then they also do a wall edit instead, but they add a confirm in there in between where they reset it back to a normal wall. Cutting that out and eliminating that problem, then there is no normal wall in between and you can go straight to an edited wall that you can then shoot through. This not only gives you a faster response time, but it also gives you a faster time to shoot the enemy and catch them off guard. So I would highly recommend trying all these tips out in today's video and if you have enjoyed then make sure to drop a like on the video as I have done a good job obviously if you are still watching and make sure to subscribe if for more tips in future on console to always improve and get better. Also remember our like goal of 500 likes and also go down to the comments and let me know if you are a linear player or exponential. I would highly be interested. Also check out another one of videos of mine in future and I guess I can't wait to see you on another video. Peace guys.